Okay, so we want to go in here, finally. Up the stairs. Oh my god, a normal enemy to fight. What, what sorcery is this? But yeah, it's just kind of getting used to the timings in this game. It's obvious. It's just different. It's hard to get used to. It's just, it's just different. Yeah, like especially again, like the way that the the lag, like you get used to the lag. Okay, so this is above where we were before. There's a couple different ways to go now. I guess let's go back real quick. Giant crabs are a-holes. <laughs> I agree. Oh, hey, we're already... We're at Crystal Sage. God damn it. I guess I could go fight Crystal Sage. While we're here. I'm not doing great damage. Oh, my God. I'm not doing great damage for Crystal Sage, but, you know. Let's just explore the rest of this area while we're here and just keep PvPing a little bit. And we want to go and talk to Cirrus also. I don't think any, like, quests progress if you, when you kill Crystal Sage. Like, we're not going to lock ourselves out if we just go and kill Crystal Sage. I don't think. Well, that was a fun little soiree of PvP. I was uh, a, a bit of a sacrificial lamb through it, but that's okay. I had fun. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. How intriguing. Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer, with plenty to share. However, uh -oh. what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you're not that sort of man. So you will make me a promise that in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing sorcery's secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck, a Vinheim. Unkindled one. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. People just, they never even say, like, I'll see you later. They just disappear into smoke. This is too well organized. I demand it to be destroyed. How do you like this, Orbeck? If you kill the boss of an area, you don't get invaded. Thank you for reminding me of that. I suppose we could still be a watchdog, but it's probably better this way. Blue bug pellet. So if we drop down here, that's where we got the sages. A sage's ring, so I'll avoid that. Uh, let's go back now. So we came up this way. There were some stairs. We'll go up there first. Please don't. Please don't soul spear me. Oh, he fell. I don't remember what any of this treasure is. I have no idea, but I guess we're just... We're doing it. Where is that? There he is. Stato is Soul Spear. Why can these basic enemies cast one of the most powerful spells in the game? I'm furious. All right. So how's everyone doing? Is everyone had their fill of PvP, or can I keep doing it? it seems like it's kind of calmed down for a bit right now, actually. See you later. Uh-oh. 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 
Oh, he woke them all up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, back up. Gank squad. We're fine. We're good. We got a good heal off there. Get out of here. Hollow sorcerers. Taking too much damage. Irithyll is filled with gangs. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's going to be the same as this when we get there, except we're going to be Aldrich, Aldrich Faithful instead. Except, yeah, that's going to be, like, way more PvP meta as opposed to this, where I thought this would be more, a little more natural, but it feels like this is very much so meta as well. Like, meta PvP. When I say that, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, people uh, who are specced specifically to PvP as opposed to who are just doing it as they level up. Because, like, I am only doing this now because I'm at a level to do it. But I have not changed my build at all. I did not come in prepared or geared in a specific way. Um, but like you said, if we... If we go challenge the boss, then we can no longer be invaded. But we're not embered, so it wouldn't really matter. Let's just see if we get an invasion here real quick. The other thing too is anyone, if anyone is at this part of the game, I'll put my summon sign down. I'll come and help people. Ugh, God, not, th no. I'm tired of this guy. He's just been sitting in Farron for over an hour with Cheat Engine on. That's like, that's just like pathetic. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's try one more time. I love how fast it is though. Look how quick we can find another world. Pretty active PvP, but again, it's, it's a PvP scene where you have to go and prepared and I am not. Oh god, I'm, on, I'm in deep water. I hate this. Well, we're both in deep water. Get him, big crab. Can you repost a scythe? Because I feel like probably not. Oh, I'm a red... Wait. Why did the crab hit me? Oh, maybe he used a... Uh... A seed. He could have. No, I can't lock onto it. Hello, my friend. I'll let the watchdog go and handle the host. Follow up. I'll give him that. Oh! Oh! What a man! Man, that weapon art. Again, it was especially with larger swords, you can't interrupt it. Whew. Gotta watch out. They'll get you. Yeah, see, I didn't know that the PvE enemies could damage you at all as a red phantom. That's interesting. As long as there's... I mean, as long as I'm getting summoned in, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm having a good time. I don't know if I'll make VODs of this. I might just leave this out. Uh, I guess, I think I've picked up everything there is to pick up in these areas. That's the other thing. I want to make sure that I've searched high and low for stuff to pick up. The only thing that I might be missing is there's like a thing along an edge. Ah! This is like a whole different game when you're PvPing, though. It's pretty nice. A 
Okay, I guess I'm not getting summoned in. So there's an item that's like high up on a ledge that I think you can only get. Maybe from Farron, actually. But I'd like to find that first. I don't remember what it is. It's probably garbage, but... It's just one of those things, like, I know it's there. I'd like to go and get it. It's like along that ledge over on the right, actually. Are we not... What happened here? Keeps timing out. I hope it's not that same fucking guy. The guy who's got like a billion resistance. Ellie the Blade! But where could he be? Yeah, the item that I'm looking for is up there, which means we'd have to go... Yeah, it's in the general vicinity I've been. I see him up here. Every person I get summoned in on has a white phantom, it feels like. But I think that's because... You're prioritized to invade people who have other people. I'm, like, fairly certain that's the way it works. It's gonna kill the crystal lizard for him, but I guess I can't. Could do that as a purple man. Could the dream be real? Could the plunging attack dream be real? There's no way they haven't seen me, right? I thought I could catch him trying to pick up the Estus Shard. I don't have much... I don't have very high hopes. Again, anytime it's just me versus... A group... Like, more than one person. Ooh, Fire Surge. I like it. How many times have I fallen off these ledges? I like this combo with them. Uh, no healing in a duel, please? How many- how much fire surge does this guy have? Stop it! Apparently a shit ton of it. I mean, I didn't- I haven't seen him sip, but... Oh, there he- there was the sip. Good hit. Uh-oh. Please. Please no more fire surge. I beg of you. It's a bad trade for me. Fucking fire surge guy. No! Oh man, that's so rare you get caught with a backstab in PvP. Big crab! Big crab! Let's go, big crab! Oh no! <laughs> I had hoped I could survive until the big crab could save me. It's too bad.
I guess apparently what I need to do is just, uh... Constantly summon in white phantoms and sit in Farron until I get invaded. I think this is the window I have to go through. Ah! Jesus. Okay, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Here's that item. Now we can go fight the boss. Okay, yeah, it was just a stupid thing. Okay. I would say at least 90%, if not every single invasion that I've done has been against multiple people. And the, so the only time that's been like, in my opinion, like really fun, God damn it, is when, uh, is when it's just been like a huge, crazy, like four, like four to six person battle of other people. That's been fun. But other times just like me versus two to three phantoms, like, what do you expect? You have some fun, you get some hits in, but you're probably not gonna be hitting, you're probably not gonna be taking anyone out unless you've got a, a PvP spec. Which, if I did have a PvP spec, I'd probably have a buckler and a greatsword. Or maybe Vort's hammer. That would be really cool. Alright. So, mo a lot of bosses in this game, actually, there's no fog door the first time you fight them. So, I think you do want to kill all the enemies early. Else, uh... They might follow you in the boss. I'm actually not sure if that's true. The door I, the door might very well close once you enter it. Oh my god. Oh my god, Soul Spear. Stop, stop, stop with the Soul Spear. I keep forgetting that guy's back there. We don't need much Estus for the Crystal Sage. I'm a little psyched out after that PvP. It's like a whole new world when you're actually just trying to beat the game. I'm gonna still not, I mean, I could level up my weapon. I'm still not doing it on purpose because as we go through the next areas, we can still get summoned in as Farron. So this boss is strange. I guess I'm used to fighting him with a better weapon. <laughs> I purposefully handicapped myself. We'll see how it goes. Shouldn't be too bad. Summons in clones of himself. And then runs away and then summons more clones of himself. So there are two Crystal Sages. They're twins. One here has joined the Undead Legion, which is the Abyss Walkers. And then one of them is... Oh! Okay. One of them is in Lothric. I don't know where the real one is. Let's just come and kill the other one. Interesting thing here is that this guy actually, like the clones that he summons in do the blue magic, which is his brother in Lothric. So he misses his brother, so he's summoning in clones of his, of his buddy. That's all. It's cute. I'd hope maybe I'd get the right one. Uh-oh. Kill him before the homing soul mass does. Okay. <laughs> that was close. I took a risk there. The homing... The, uh... Homing... Homing crystal soul mass could have gotten me there, but we did it. Ember restored. Poof. All right, let's go talk to Cirrus. Let's actually get back to the game now. We PvP'd for a good hour and a half. And honestly, it wasn't uh, that lucrative anyway. It was a little fun, but unfortunately, the game is old enough that most of the people still playing it are just specking specifically to do it. Which is not a bad thing, but you know, it's the way it is. Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. For one, that you are most gentle of heart. I too am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to embers. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Cool. If you should require assistance, use my sign. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. 
So she is a Knight of the Dark Moon, which was a covenant from Dark Souls 1 that was run by Gwendolyn to keep the secrets of Anor Londo and trespassers and uh, killing trespassers in Anor Londo. So she gave us the gesture for that. Can't really do anything with that yet. If you level up the Rosaria's Finger Covenant, which is the Red Phantom Covenant, which we haven't found yet, but if you do level that up, she leaves and will no longer uh, help you. Here's a Pyromancer. Ah, oh, there you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting a lowly Pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you will need a flame of your own. Careful you don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, so we've been collecting these pyromancy tomes. Yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this, I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I am your tutor a little longer. <laughs> this guy is actually one of the more friendly NPCs, and nothing terrible happens to him as far as I know. Uh, okay, so we don't need anything from Do him not right be now. Gone for long. We'll level up pyromancies later. Here's Orbeck. Oh, you're back then. Again. I'm Orbeck of Vinheim, here to teach you sorceries. Let us begin with the basics. The ideal sorcerer bears the twin faces of the dragon. It... Oh, you could at least act as if you're paying attention. Okay. I don't mean to seem overbearing, but have you forgotten? In exchange for my sorceries, you are to bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing the secrets of sorcery. I hope you're not one to break a promise. Come again. Alrighty, so actually, if you kill the Abyss Watchers without giving him any sorcery scrolls, he leaves permanently. So you gotta make sure you do that. We also have a tome for this lady. Oh, Champion of Ash, welcome back. Do you wish to hear a tale? You only have to ask. Not really, lady. Here's a tome. So you have to be careful. Make sure you know what tomes you're giving her. You only want to give her the divine tomes. Oh, you've brought me a braille divine tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> Creepy laugh. Uh, okay, so any offensive miracles yet? No. No. Okay. Have a pleasant journey. I One of these days. <laughs> That's RJ, gentle of heart. I chased that man down a... Remember, I chased that guy down the... The ladder and he died. Where is Egon? I, I thought he would show up here, but I guess not. Um... I think maybe we just start spending our souls now. Like, enough with this artificial leveling. I'm not specced to PvP, so I'm not going to subject you all to watch me die ah, 75 well, Tis good to, to 90 percent of the times that, <laughs> that I'm PvPing. Uh, okay, so we want to reinforce, and we can go to plus four now. That's actually... Be careful. Quite high. You don't start getting large shards at a reasonable rate until after the Abyss Watchers. So being at plus four is actually really, really good right now. Uh, and then I think... What's our hollowing at? 16? I think we can get all of our free levels from Yol now. Oh, I... Then shall bear. So I am tempted to try to get my strength up to 18 so that I can use the Lothric Knight shield, then we pump faith like crazy and eventually use a blessed dra uh, blessed gem. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Then show that. Okay, so that's two, that's three. We've done this three times or four times now. We'll he'll tell us we've done then it shall enough. We bear. You can only do it five times total. Ah. Uh. You have attained ample strength. All will soon be clear, my good lord. 
Okay, excellent. Be so, safe, our lord. That's everything Yol can realistically do for us. We now have five dark sigils, which is the max you can have, so we got our five free levels. Yeah, I see you're saying more vigor. I don't think I need more vigor. I'm trying to get... I'll eventually get vigor and endurance to 30, but right now I just want to try to get some minimums for gear. How much vigor do you think you need for this game? Welcome home, I should speak. Very well, then take... Okay. I might crunch some souls just to get to 18. I want to, I want to level up the... Uh, I want to level up the shields. Uh, probably didn't help that I had the fire clutch ring on this whole time. Haha. <laughs> Where are we going next? We'll put on flamestone plate because there'll be deacons wherever we're going next. Um... Okay, so we need about 3,000 more souls, which we can definitely get from crunching. Welcome, very then take. Farewell, Ashen One Maid. Yeah, I mean, I guess I would, I could just emphasize again. I have played this game, so I have a general idea of what I need to succeed. Suggestions always welcome. Uh, yeah, so we're, well, then we're going to go Faith. I might do like a Faith Dex build. I can't decide if I want to do Int Faith or Dex Faith. I just don't know. We could focus on, that would either be, we'd either focus on Lightning or we would focus on Fire. And I can't, I just can't decide. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is turn on Blue Sentinels. We can be the police for a while. Okay, so we just beat the Crystal Sage. I'm going to go to the Cathedral of the Deep next, and then we will backtrack and go through all of Farron after that. That's my plan. Okay, Crystal Sage is dead. We've given away all of our scrolls that we do have, or tomes, rather. That's not the way out. Or is that the way out? No, it's up here. Couple different ways to go. We'll make sure we drop down and get everything along the way. Again, I haven't done a new game playthrough for. I mean, I've only done a new game playthrough once, so I like. I don't really know. Oh, he got me. Um, I don't really know the ideal game path route, like where to find everything. So. Still kind of, it's going to be a very exploratory playthrough. Anything? Guess not. Okay, there's some crystal lizards we can get that I think are below us. Hello, friend. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow! Please. Okay. Well, we've got the Herald set now. I guess we could, uh... We could dress up as one of those ladies. I wish you lots of fun in Dark Souls 3, Jay Bruno, and good luck. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I appreciate that. I will do my best. I hear that crystal lizard. Twinkling tie tonight. This is a, it's just a big hole. I don't know why this is here. Ember ahead. All right, so that's out the other way. Is there anything up here? No. I guess it was just the crystal lizard. All right, onwards.
Okay, so here's our first cathedral bonfire. Poof! Uh, so there's a, a random NPC up here. It's not an invader. It's just a person who's just, like, hanging out. Uh, there's a way to get above them. Oh! Oh! I thought that was a... <laughs> Hello? It's another fallen knight! Is that how I look? Please. Oh, God. He's ready to parry me. So with a straight sword, especially when it comes to NPCs who aren't, like, prepared to parry you, you can just kind of go ham. Like, you can typically stun lock them unless they're using a weapon art like that. Stop doing that! <laughs> oh my god, this guy. <laughs> He's a god! He's a god. There. Okay. Now yeah, we'll just sit at the bonfire. This guy won't come back. Doesn't drop anything. Doesn't give that many souls. Could try to go luck bleed. That would be quite interesting. Here we got more ashes we can go give to the lady. Okay, so we're gonna hop down here. We can get above that other person and probably plunge attack them. If I don't screw it up. Huh, tall order from Jay Barino. I feel like I'm all psyched out after that PvP section. Uh, section. We did so well at the beginning of this game. And then I was like, let's PvP, and it was just a disaster. Huzzah! It worked. Especially with the Lothric Sword, you got pretty good reach. That assuming you start swinging before they can do anything, you're probably going to keep them stunlocked. Especially an NPC like this. It's just against players, I'm always nervous of getting parried because spam, R1 spam is what gets you parried and killed, without a doubt. There's the spider shield, not nearly as good in this instance as it is in previous, uh, in the first game. This area is full of dogs and archers. Ow. Oh my god. Let's hide behind the rocks here. go. I'm actually tempted to infuse sharp. That, I mean, because I've got 18 decks, I would benefit way more from that rather than a fire gem right now until we can get points into faith. It's actually really tempting. I may do that. It's my, I'm just not doing, well, I'm doing okay damage, but I could do better considering I've got a plus four weapon. I should do more. even refined, actually. Considering I've, uh... I've put points into strength to use the shield that I don't even have equipped. Uh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. We are officially a real disgraced Lothric Knight. We've got the, the sword and shield as well as the fallen knight set. There we go. Actually, fire in this area is really good. Just ignore the fact that that guy lights himself on fire. <laughs> okay. We're heading into the Cathedral of the Deep. This area is pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Ah, merciful goddess. 
Mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. <gasps> Wait, you've... you've the same scent as that woman. Then you must be an action one. You must be. Oh. <laughs> You don't know how long I've searched. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. <laughs> now, Ashen One, I have a kindness to ask of you. My lady lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are ash, then it must be fire that you seek. Ah, thank you. They of ash never fail. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Touch it. The ashes were too. <laughs> this is actually DLC. Uh, I just figured I'd talk to him because we're here and then we'll just teleport back out. But we're not going to come back here for a long time. Uh, pretty challenging area. Oh, I guess we were getting invaded there. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Ah. 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 Have you just arrived? How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn. The cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Ah, ah, yes, of course. You're no exception. We've all seen terrible things. But you're safe now. Let it ease your burden. Ariandel will make a fine home for you. So, go on ahead. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Quick, go along. A yep, this guy's all about a, a sweetly rotting bed, right. So we can talk more about Ariandel once we actually come to work our way through it, but it's... Very similar to the painted world of Ariamis from the first game, it very well might be the same painting that Slave Knight Gale had a scrap of that we got sucked into, but we can just get out of here for now. Beam me up, Scotty. It's 
we're gonna work our way through the cathedral today. Wait. Did I not hit that other bonfire before talking to Gale? Ugh. Let's just run by all the enemies then. Might not actually have enough endurance to properly do that, but we can certainly try. Yep, this was a mistake. <laughs> Uh oh. Actually, no, this is fine. It worked! Alright. Let's go actually hit that bonfire so we don't have to run through that area again. Okay, we're still rolling okay, even with the Lothric Knight Shield. I was afraid that would put us over to 70, but it didn't. So actually, these doors are both locked. So we're just going to ignore them and leave again. Ah, someone set up all these nice chairs. How do you like that? And we're going to go out and around. Because it's the only way to go right now. Keep, just keep in mind this well. We're going to come back to that later. Not much indication that we would need to. But we're going to come back to the well. I thought you were dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, another Estus Shard. So there's a couple different ways to go. We can go up or through here. I think both technically lead to the same general area. Let's hop down here first. And there are these creepy leech monsters. You want to avoid, well, I was going to say you want to avoid getting hit by them. They're weak to fire, though. They die really quick, but we have leeches on us now, and they, it builds up a bleed status. So what you want to do is, uh, get out your torch. Once you get out the torch, then they fall off you. We're still fast rolling, and we've got the torch equipped. So let's, uh, let's go and fight some more of these. And pick up any items around here that we can find before we backtrack and go through the other area. Now there are two of them. Okay, get off me, leeches. All you gotta do is pull the torch out. We got a new chime, which is good once I finally start using chimes. I just need more points into faith. It's too early. Uh, soul level is like mostly going towards stat requirements for gear and health. Okay, I see a crystal lizard. So we're gonna still be picking up a lot of... We're still going to be picking up a lot of Titanite shards versus the large Titanite. We're like we're going to be at plus four for a long time, but that's okay. Another crystal lizard. Let's try to shoo it in the other direction. Can lock on if you plunge. If you um, well, I was going to say if you jumping attack. If you're running in R2, you jump attack automatically. Um, quite nice. Uh, and it's it's it flips the crystal lizards over. So they take less damage. That's not what the, what it does. Not that they take less damage, that they uh are stunned. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, one of these things killed us a bunch early in the game, so let's not let that happen again. Oh, we stunned it. Excellent. Apparently reposting is not in my repertoire. Excellent. Another Titanite scale, but I don't have any... <laughs> I actually don't think there's anything back here, but... Oh, there is. Um, I don't I don't have any boss weapons, so it doesn't really matter if I have a lot of Titanite scales or not. Poison Bite Ring. I don't actually know if anything even poisons you in this general area, so... Whatever. Okay, so we came from this way, right? Which means... We want to explore these other directions. Over there. And then in here. Let's check this. Okay, so this leads us back to the back to the bonfire. <clears throat> I don't know my way around these areas, so they're they can be a little confusing. <clears throat> I 
Let me just check over here first also. Ah, oh, it's Friday, isn't it? Thank goodness. Could this be a trap? I don't think so. So this actually becomes a shortcut later. So there's no way back up. We've done everything down here to do. So let's uh, go back up here and hop down back into the church. Sit at the bonfire. I could go back real quick and upgrade my Estus. And I very well just might do that before I forget. And I don't think there's any other NPCs that we need to talk to just yet. But let's just go back anyway. Never hurts to just... As soon as you have the ability to... Upgrade your Estus as you pick stuff up. You might as well. 